Gun Freak Nation. It's the president, T. Electric, and I'm doing this video. You know, a uh, couple of Gun Freak Nation members wanted my thoughts on the uh, the tragic, you know, events that took place in Georgia. You know, the school shootings. Um, first and foremost, you know, my condolences go out to the families of. of the, the, the people that lost their lives, the innocent kids and the and the, and the teachers, man. It's it's sad and uh, it's just unfortunate that I hate to say it, but it won't be the last. It'll be more. And until and let me I'm jumping ahead a little bit. Um until they treat schools uh, with more value to put money into it for protection, you know, a lot of people, well, you need to arm the teachers. I don't think that's necessary. I just think that you need armed security there. Because if you look at the track record, of all these, uh, uh, you know, school shootings, um, they don't want to, the, the shooter don't want to get, you know, they don't want to get shot. They always tend to give up when they're confronted <coughs> by the, uh, by police, right? I just feel like if we can, they, they should have schools set up like a bank. They got banks where you you go through all kind of metal detectors and it's is is you know most banks that I go go to armed security metal detectors you know I feel like if they willing to put the resources into these banks and all these other high so called priority then they need to put security they need to give the schools that type of priority and protect the kids because the society that we live in, and we got these copycats and, you know, you get, what for whatever reason, you got a beef or you depressed or whatever, let me target a school, you know. And I feel like if, if you put the proper security, take the proper security measures and have armed guards in those schools posted, multiple armed guards, it 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 definitely put a stop to it, or it definitely prevent it from getting to where multiple people are, you know, deleted, unalived. You know, I had a Gun Freak Nation member, you know, um, communicate with me, text me, um, that he was against the father of the. Uh, of the shooter being um, charged. Um, I totally disagree. I think that the father should be charged for the simple fact, <clears throat> for the simple fact that he had, he knew his son had mental issues. Okay? If you know your kid got mental issues, and come to find out he had been threatened that school a few months ago and nothing was dead about it, nothing was done about it, but still, you knew, you know your kid. If you know that there's something wrong with him or, you know, get him some help. If you know that he's been threatening uh, uh, to shoot up the school, then why would you leave your firearms around your kid where it's accessible. So if you're that irresponsible, I feel like you really do, you need to be charged because you just as, in my opinion, you just as, you, you got to be held accountable because you knew that that person got issues. That's just like, you know, you, you you got a kid that's that's that's, you know, 
if 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 I if if my son made a threat against unaliving people or going to the school and shooting it up, I'm gonna get him some help, and my firearms is going to be locked up, guaranteed. I'm going to keep an eye on them. I'm going to lock them up, make them inaccessible where you can't just get it. That's being responsible. So I feel like if you're irresponsible with your these parents, if you're irresponsible with your, uh, uh, with your firearms, it's like this. You need to be held accountable for it. Too many kids have lost their lives finding their parents' firearm that was loaded and uh, wasn't nobody watching it and the kid got a hold of it and either unalived himself or unalived a friend. It's happened. It happened multiple times right here in Detroit last summer and this summer. And that breaks my heart anytime when I hear about a child dying at the hands, being unalive <clears throat> at the hands of a um, of a weapon that that uh, 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 you know they parent or guardian or, you know left behind and and it's not that's not cool. And I get it. There are some parents that you know teach they they children gun safety and take them hunting, take them to the range. Ain't nothing wrong with that, you know, because we got these savages breaking in your home, and what if what if they get the drop on you and incapacitate you? You want your kid to be able to use that and utilize that firearm to save his life if, if you get took out. So it goes both ways, but it's, there's no excuse if you're not teaching your kid firearm safety and and if you know your kid got issues mental issues or just just anger issues then you don't allow him access to your firearm it's just that simple so my opinion is he needs to be charged because he played a pivotal role in that in in it happening in the first place I don't know all of the details of it, but I know this, that he knew that his son had issues because the FBI came to their house. He was talking all kind of crazy stuff online, and somebody reported it. Everybody do not need to have a firearm. If you mental, if you got anger issues where you out of control and somebody can make you snap you don't need it until you get help and it's just that simple a firearm is a very very important uh, uh vital tool that if used correctly it can save lives it can save your life but we got a lot of people a lot of parents uh, that's irresponsible with firearms and, and, and um, though the, you know tragic situations like this is the result of someone being irresponsible with a firearm you know so you know prayers go out to the families but Unfortunately, it's just going to keep happening. You know, um, I remember the other sh the, uh, the other shooting where um, the the shooter, the savage, targeted that particular school because they didn't have, you know, the security was like she didn't want to go to a school that had armed security, so she chose the one that didn't have armed security. Matter of fact, I don't even think they had. Uh, no security there, and that's why it was chosen. See, these savages, they got a lot of sense. They, they, they want to go to the easiest, you know, target. You know, it is what it is. But it's going to keep happening. 
and I wish they would put the resources into the school into these schools and every school if it was up to me every school would be armed well every school would have multiple armed trained uh, uh, security guards every school would have metal detectors <laughs> You know, and an armed security guard right there posted if that metal detector go off. But then you probably have people complaining, oh, you got the schools on, you know, lockdown. And, you know, you got the schools, uh, it's more like a prison instead of a school. But at the end of the day, the results would be, it won't be, it would not be a shooting. Or if, oh, if, if a shooter do come in there, he's going to be put down quick. He's going to meet armed resistance, which they do not want. God bless their souls. God bless America. God bless Gun Freak Nation. It's just a matter of time before another one happens. I feel like they need to treat the schools like they treat the banks and, and all these other high security places. Fortified like the White House. You know? Y'all saying that the kids is not worthy, their lives are not worthy to where they sitting ducks when they're in their classroom. That's not right. I, you know, when my... When my uh, when my son went to high school, he, hey, I was happy to see that they had armed security there. You know, actually they had uh, police there. You know, the school was kind of bad and rough, but they had, you know, Detroit police officers there. So that made me feel more, you know, at ease. But if I had a kid that was in school and they don't have security there, armed security, man, I don't know what I would do. I would be uncomfortable with that situation. I would be uneasy with that situation <clears throat> because, you know, it, it happens all the time now, unfortunately. But anyway, God Freak Nation, those are my thoughts. I mean, let me know what your opinion is. Um, I love y'all. Y'all stay safe. You know, stay savage ready, man. You know, um, like I say, stay armed. Stay responsible with your firearms. Um, stay righteous. And be ready to send that savage to Funky Town. Salute, God Free Nation. Love you.